Hi ho! Um, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you uh, a very short information about the soft I use and especially the, my 3D soft. Um, there is a lot of different uh, designs of on, on the market and um, you know I basically work on Linux and uh, it does mean for, uh, for guys like me and other one that uh, uh, you are able to, <coughs> to act to have the, that we call, call the open source software and, um, and there is a lot of people and a lot of community that, that are working to make some very good stuff and especially for, for the, the CAD design and uh, I use FreeCAD um, and they have a website and the website is uh, www.freecadweb.org and uh, it's a very very uh, incredible team um, they are working on this soft maybe f since six or seven years now. Um, this soft is usable on all the platform, uh, so you can see Windows, Ubuntu, Mac, uh, Fedora. So it does mean that uh, you can have different uh, platform and work with the same file and share information around the world. Um, more or less, uh, this. Uh, uh, 3 uh, CAD model is able also to uh, manipulate a lot of different uh, formats uh, like the step, uh, the IGUS, STL so you can share information with a lot of customers and r recover a lot of prints uh, from them and uh, this soft is free and um, there is a lot of activity yeah, there is a daily activity uh, on uh, developing uh, the soft there's still some bugs, but uh, uh, nothing, uh, nothing very hard. You can work uh, on a daily basis uh, with uh, this soft, and um, the website is very well made. Um, you can s see a, a screenshot. You have some tutorials. Yeah, there is also on YouTube uh, maybe thirty or forty uh, tutorials that explain how uh, to use um, this parametric three D modeler that is very easy to use. Um, and you have also forum, uh, you can ask many questions because sometimes you can enter via with very complex design or things that you are not able to do. And uh, the team is uh, amazing and the way they are able to, uh, to deal with uh, all the development on the software and uh, the ability they have to answer to the forum. So uh, it's very, very good stuff. Um, uh, I use it on a daily basis and I can make uh, some very, very uh, time saving with uh, this soft. And uh, I can use also all the files directly with my CNC machine, uh, just using uh, post-processing operation. So if you uh, are looking for a very great uh, 3D soft, uh, I recommend uh, definitely uh, this soft. So I want to share with you some uh, detail about the design I made uh, on the CNC, and especially uh, the different elements uh, that will be made in the CNC. So on, on this 3D view, um, this grey rectangle uh, is supposed to be the floor and uh, the CNC uh, is made with four different elements. The first one uh, is the yellow one, you can see here is the support. So the, the only purpose uh, of the support is to receive <coughs> the CNC and all uh, the other uh, system around it. Uh, it's only uh, two inches uh, square pipe uh, that will be welded uh, together and uh, for the foot and the legs here uh, they will be uh, put on, on, on the two uh, different uh, parts so uh, with the weight it will take the load uh, of, of all the of the CNC and uh, it uh, will not um, be linked with the quality of the of the welding, so it's one way to uh, to avoid my poor quality welding uh, on the thing. And uh, of course, uh, at the opposite of the leg, I will put some uh, uh, some foot that will be uh, able to be screw or unscrew and to adapt to the floor. So it's the first element of the CNC machine, uh, so we hide it. The second one, you can see, is the, let's say, uh, call it the 
the blue one, the uncluster. Uh, I'm not sure that the roof is uh, very necessary, except if you are making some very hard machining and milling operation, and with a high pressure of coolant. So it was designed uh, with a complete enclosure, and uh, we'll see in the future uh, how it will work. So uh, this blue enclosure uh, will be made at the end of the machine. So we can remove the roof, you can uh, have a look on the structure um, that will support the enclosure. We can hide uh, complete enclosure and you have a, a base view uh, on, the, on the structure that's, that will support the enclosure. Uh, so I will hide the structure and then you can see uh, Close to the CNC, um, there is a, that I call a cheap and coolant receiver, and there is some slope on the right side and on the left side, so it's more easy to uh, to the coolant to get down and with the gravity and go back to the tank and with a filtration between between both. So the cheap coolant uh, receiver is there and uh, will be uh, constructed at the very first step like the uh, the CNC support uh, because it will be placed between the CNC machine and the support uh, so it's uh, only simple plates uh, that will be welded together with uh, an external uh, shape um, to make <coughs> to make the thing all together so it's the third element of the CNC and the last one is the CNC by itself and uh, we hide the floor and you can see uh, on the CNC machine there is uh, let's say four different uh, elements the first one is the table and the table uh, will receive the, the wires and uh, also uh, the feature and the parts and so on and this table is able to move in a two uh, different direction in this direction and in this one and um, the moves uh, are possible with some ball screw here and there is another one uh, under the table you can see the, the nuts um, ball nuts and uh, the other thing that uh, will be used are uh, some linear rates um, to guide uh, this table in both direction and uh, to give also a very very uh, big rigidity uh, with no uh, backlash at all. So the, the first element is the, is the table. The second one is uh, what I call the bed, and the bed uh, has two purposes. The first one is to support uh, the table here, uh, thanks to a plate here uh, that receives uh, the linear rails and, um, and also the ball screw. But the bed will also support uh, the column at the back and the column at the back um, gives the ability to the CNC uh, for the Z uh, for the Z axis so, and um, the head will be placed on this uh, front plate uh, thanks to another uh, lead screw here, a wall screw also and two other uh, linear rails mm, to be very stiff and uh, with no backlash at all and uh, so it is the, the basic concept of the CNC with the all four elements uh, on this one.